Hey, Logan. Ah. Uh, what? Uh, I don't recognize you with a fucking shirt on. What's up, Jim Rockers? I'm Ramona. Welcome to my channel, Jim Rock Crew, where we bring together fitness, rock, and metal. Today, we're talking about a Canadian guitarist from Machine Head, Soulfly, Medication, and now Once Human, a record producer and composer, one of the most respected names in metal production, friend of Dimebag. He's been touring and playing since the 90s. He's got five kids and has one of the most ripped physiques in the metal industry, Logan Mayer. <laughs> So he's over 50 years old? Like what in the actual fuck? I want some of what he's having. Alright, let's talk about what he does to look like a freaking god. The Logan we know today is all about health and fitness, but did you know that like a lot of rock stars in the 80s and 90s, he struggled with drug and alcohol abuse. In fact, he had so many nights in the past where he was just lucky to wake up the next morning. And so the people who do know him know that he likes to party, and he likes to party hard. In an interview with Revolver, Logan says, I was self-destructive and I love the whole rock star party thing. But also I would get on stage and play shows for 130,000 people with machine head at festivals like Dynamo back in the day. That's the best high you could ever experience. But a little bit later, it starts to fade. and then and you come down. I never wanted to come down. I wanted to keep that high going. So show cane turned into cocaine. And once that happens, it's very hard to stop that train. Basically, it turned into a near-death experience every other day. I thought I was indestructible, I guess, but I realized I'm not. This high that musicians get from performing shows in front of huge crowds, which is followed by a dip soon after the show, especially when they are alone in their tour bus, is very common. So it's no surprise that many of them want to keep that high going and turn to synthetic means of getting high. Logan also says that moderation does not work for him. It's all or nothing. His life has been a series of waves of being sober and self-destructive. In the past, he did four years sobriety and then thought, hmm, I could do moderation. He accepts a glass of wine and then 30 days later, he's a fucking wreck. He says that his DNA doesn't have a code or a plug-in to just have a couple of drinks to get high once a year. He says a couple of drinks for me is 17 drinks, an eight ball of cocaine, a handful of molly. I won't stop till three days from now and end up eating a handful of Xanax to come back down in my house. Logan finally got sober in March 2021. He didn't go to Alcoholics Anonymous because he doesn't agree with some of their fundamentals, one of which is I am powerless against my disease, whereas Logan believes that he is in fact powerful and not powerless. He has nothing against the program so, but they're just not for him and he got sober on his own. He says trying to be sober in the music business is tough though, every day is a big party, open bar all night, temptation is gonna come for me over and over again, but I've gotta stand my ground and follow through. He says that life is like a video game, you play, you die, you die again and then eventually beat the boss and level up. It's a simple way to look at life to beat obstacles and level up. Logan also quit vaping in April 2020. He says, I was vaping more than I was breathing. I couldn't put it down. It was starting to hurt my lungs a bit. I was developing a chronic cough that can't be healthy. He switched to chewing nicotine, but he quit that too, just to take more control of his actions and responses. Fast forward to today, Logan's only addiction is coffee. He doesn't smoke or drink and he feels great. He says, I'm lucky I got this far and I'm now healthy and strong and clean and sober. He started putting his energy into positive things that are better for him, like producing. When when it comes to his training, in an interview with Metal Injection, he says that he starts with 15 to 20 minutes of cardio as warm-up, then stretches a little and does his whole routine. He generally trains 90 minutes, 5 days a week on a 3-day cycle. Day 1, legs, day 2, back and chest, day 3, shoulders, buys and tries. He does cardio and abs at each workout. Logan does compound moves like deadlifts, push-ups, dips and chin-ups, but also incorporates a lot of core targeting moves like handstand push-ups and push-ups on medicine bowls. While touring, he trains with TRX traps and a spin bike. He also enjoys hiking and regularly hikes red rock in Vegas. Logan says that consistency is the most important way to stay fit. He believes that diet is 50% of the puzzle and promotes low carbs, lots of protein and clean food like sweet potato, asparagus and broccoli. In an interview with Heavy Metal HQ, Logan says I've been working out for 30 years. For me personally, being into health and fitness is just part of maintaining the body that I have and also the mindset that I have. To maintain a youthful mindset and feel young, be mobile, strong, fit and healthy. My immune system is strong. My body is strong. I'm 51 and I'm in the best shape of my life. I have a six pack. It's just part of my routine to do health and fitness, I can't imagine ever not having that as part of my daily activity. Logan practiced meditation a lot during quarantine. He believes that meditation is healthcare for your brain, consciousness and body. It helps with intention and also gets him answers on life. Now apart from the music business, Logan is also invested in the medicinal cannabis business. He started taking LSD and mushrooms when he was just 13 for fun and games. But he's teamed up with friend and bassist of System of a Down Chavo's brand manager for medicinal cannabis 22 Red in Nevada. 22 Red is a cool lifestyle brand that overlaps 
clubs with music, culture and skateboarding. According to an interview with Noise Creep, Logan says it's a great business. I know that the medicinal benefits of cannabis are huge. Plus, it's a great anti-inflammatory. It works for anxiety and depression and a lot of other things. It's a good natural plant medicine. He also says basically, I'm hanging out with creative people who sell weed. Entrepreneurs that are basically stone or stone multi-millionaires. So it's a cool space and it creates a good alternative revenue stream for me without getting in the way of his band Once Human. Logan also teamed up with his friend Joe and partly owns Cali K Group that does cultivation, manufacturing and retail home delivery of medicinal cannabis. They created a pre-workout stimulant and recovery supplement called All In which includes a caffeine cocktail from four different sources and broad spectrum CBD, turmeric, black cumin seed, dry rosemary, MCT oil and black pepper. All of which help with joint mobility, pain management, focus and energy. All in all, Logan's story is a massive inspiration. He was able to pull himself out of drug and alcohol abuse and continues that fight within an industry that is full of temptation. Not just that, he directs his energy towards building and creating the best version of himself. I mean, he's hot as fuck and clearly puts in a lot of work to maintain that body. Also, the vocalist in his band Once Human, Lauren Hart, is also his partner and is also in amazing shape. Having a partner who is also all about health and fitness and having the same goals makes a huge difference. And these two are just killing it. If you're interested in knowing what Lauren does to keep fit, make sure you watch my video on the five female metal musicians who are fit as fuck. Alright, I truly appreciate all the likes, the views and the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to enable me to keep going, hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Also, which metal musician would you like me to cover next? Let me know in the comments. I saw all the Machine Head live videos of you up there bouncing around all sweaty and shirtless. I think people didn't know whether to headbang or make it rain. <laughs> You ever thought about doing a calendar with Doyle? No. Hey, Logan. Yeah.